Hey folks, welcome back. I have your latest home prices and insights for York Region for week ending November 17th. If you want to reach out to me to talk anything at all related to real estate, we've made it really simple. In the description below this video, there's a link to my calendar. Just click on the link, book a time that's suitable for you. I'll know ahead of time this way when we're going to chat and, and I'll make sure I'm available so we can talk about whatever's on your mind. So year over year, prices across York Region on average are up about 30%. Those are crazy numbers. Sorry, I didn't. I, I, when when certain numbers are absurd, I, I can't help but the laugh or to giggle. I, it's by, it's it's a very serious number. Imagine a home that cost one million dollars last year is now one point three million, and that's at a million. Where the average sold price across York Region is one point eight million, thirty percent is a huge, hard to understand number. So buyers are trying to find ways of you know how do we how do we buy in this market what kind of strategies that we could use well to me there's only one strategy that really makes sense and have a good realtor working on your behalf as a buyer agent however buyers sometimes have different ideas and i meet them all the time and what a lot of buyers are sometimes doing is they're going directly to the listing agent. They figured if they go directly to the listing agent, then they got a better shot at getting a deal. Nothing could be further from the truth. The only thing that happens when you go directly to the listing agent, I know this is controversial for a lot of buyers that are listening right now. It's a myth that you get a better deal when you go directly to the listing agent you actually have a bigger chance of being taken advantage of when you go directly to the listing agent. The only thing that happens is the listing agent makes more money if you go directly to the listing agent and the seller will put more money in their pocket if you use the same agent. It, it doesn't make any sense. Like the listing agent has a contractual obligation to work in the, in the best interest of the seller. So you're going to use that person who is legally obliged to work in the best interest of the seller. You as a buyer, does that make sense? The only thing that makes sense is have a realtor working on your behalf, working in your best interest, uh, advocating for you, being your consultant, really guiding you, developing a relationship with you to be able to help you to buy in this market. That's the only thing that makes sense. I know some of you are still not going to believe it. I, I, I'd love to hear your comments below if you've done it this way or the other way. But I've seen it from both sides. The worst part is if you buy going directly to the listing agent, you think you got a good deal. That's the worst part. And it's not necessarily the case and it usually isn't. Let's get into the numbers for week ending November 7th. Okay, here we go. York Region week ending November 17th. We're going to start off with condos for all of York Region. We sold 59 condos last week, a little bit lower than a week before, but it, 59 is, it's lower than it's been over the last few weeks, but not by that much. So sales are, are, are still a little bit on the low side, but consistent over the last few weeks. Average sold price though, is way up it's a record price 721,000 for the average condo sold across York region and and just as a note I mean you could see clearly see that average sold price over the course of say nine or ten months that I have on the board here like average sold price for condos has been going up however this is I I, I think condo prices is something to keep an eye on as the freehold market gets higher and higher, and it's already at record prices on an average of 1.8 million for the average detached. Well, when at some point, I think we're gonna see the shift from freehold to condo, just because freehold prices are so high, I expect these prices to go even higher. Condos is something to keep an eye on, and we'll be keeping an eye on it. 
721,000 is 17% higher than last year's average sold price. 71% of condos sold at list price or more. And 71% higher is, is higher than what we've had for a long time now. So for this week in particular, activity, it was really aggressive buying condos. And we'll, we'll see if that keeps up over the next few weeks. The listings have come down and we expect listings and sales to come down as we get into the winter months. We hope there's more listings, but you know, this is what we're seeing right now. Months of inventory sitting at 0.7. And the average days on market is 15 for condos. And when you see this 0 0.7, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, I mean, prices have been low for a while. And months of inventory was sitting at 1.3, 1.6. And slowly, 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 just a little bit each week or every other week, months of inventory has been creeping down. And as months of inventory comes down, Average sold price goes up. Let's look at the detached market and we're going to start off with Vaughn. We sold 44 detached properties in Vaughn last week and those sales have been going up over the last three weeks. 15 of those 44, which is a high percentage of all the sales, 15 sold at $2 million or more. Average sold price has come down to $1,850,000. I say it's come down, but it's not going to really feel like it's come down much because 1850 is still higher than what we've seen in a long time. It's one of the higher prices throughout the course of the year. 1850 is 35% higher than last year's average sold price. A ridiculous amount of increase year over year. 68% of those sales sold at list price or more. Listings have been coming down and we're sitting at 0 0.6 months of inventory with an average of 10 days being on the market. Let's look at Richmond Hill. 43 were sold, so very similar to Vaughn and those sales also, just like Vaughn, have been going up over the last few weeks. Average sold price is 1,851,000, so very similar to what's happened in Vaughn and 1,851 actually is kind of average to where we've been over the last few months. It's not so much a, a high average like it is in Vaughn. It's, it's about average. That puts us at 32% higher than last year's average sold price. Very high. Of the 43 that sold, 74% sold at list price or more. So the average is 1,850,000, 851, 74%. Three quarters are selling at list price or more. Listings have been coming down. So sales are up a little bit, listings are down. The market's a bit tighter. We're sitting at one month of inventory. Average days on the market is, is sitting at 20. Looking at Markham, Markham, as far as sales go, is doing the opposite right now of Vaughn and Richmond Hill. Vaughn and Richmond Hill, over the last few weeks, sales have been going up. For Markham, sales have been coming down. We sold only 36 detached properties in Markham last week. Six of those were at $2 million or more. Average sold price is about 100000 less than what it is. This is just for this week than what it is for Vaughn and Richmond Hill sitting at 1,749,000. So it has come down, but when you look across the board, 1,749 is by no means a, a, a Black Friday deal. I mean, it's still one of the, the higher weeks when we average out prices over the course of the year. Well, that puts us at 27% higher than last year's average sold price. Of the 36 that did sell, it's not a lot, 81% sold at list price or more. 81% is going to feel like almost all the properties you're competing for in Markham. Listings are down slightly from the previous week and months of inventory is sitting at one with an average of 11 days on market. Here's the summary of months of inventory. Extremely low and, and you know when I say okay well this has gone up and this has gone up you're not going to really feel that difference unless we start to get to two, two and a half months of inventory, but we're sitting at one month of inventory or less. 
very aggressive seller's market. Strategy matters. My name is Santos Sessa with 3Max Premier. Thanks for watching.